All right, we're going to talk about how to find the equation of a plane. Um, and so what we have is uh, we have a plane, um, which I'm representing with a parallelogram here, um, and three points in the plane, so the points A, B, and C. And what you kind of want to do is um, you want to make two vectors. So uh, I'm going to make the vector AC and the vector AB. So starting at A, and terminating at B, and starting at A, and terminating at C. Um, then the next thing that I want to do is uh, find a vector that's orthogonal to both of the vectors that I just made. Um, so that's what I'm going to do first, and I'm going to use my inspire to do it. So uh, I have the vectors, or rather I have the point A, which is 5, negative 2, 1, the point B, which is 6, 4, negative 5, and C, which is 2, 6, 9. Um, and I'm going to use those to um, create the vectors that I want. So the vector AB is from A to B, so what I should do is the component, uh, I want B minus A, uh, terminal minus initial, so that'll be the vector AB. And then I want AC, so that's going to be um, C minus A. So I have those two vectors. And then what I said I wanted to do was I want to find this, um, I want to find this vector here that's orthogonal to both AC and AB. Um, so what I'm going to do Later on, you're going to learn a different way to do this, um, but for now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to pretend that that vector, I'm going to call it n because it's uh, called the normal vector. I'm going to call it um, x, y, and then I'm just going to choose the third component. I'm going to say that the third component is 2. Um, so I have x, y, 2. And what I want to do is... I want it to be n to be orthogonal to a, b, and to a, c. So what I really want is for the dot product of n and a, b to equal to 0. And if you have a cast, you can do that. If you don't have a cast, you have to actually work that out by hand. Um, and I want the dot product of n and a, c to equal 0. And again, um, if you have a cast, you're good. If you don't, uh, you got to work it out. So what you can see is I have here two equations um, in only two unknowns. So what I'd like to do is solve that. Um, so I will do this as if I did not have a cast. Uh, menu and then algebra and then solve. We want system of linear equations since we're pretending we don't have a cast. Um, and the variables are x and y. So go up and get that. And then uh, copy that. That didn't work. Did not work. All right, I'm going to have to type it in. So negative 3x plus 8y plus 16 equals 0. Now this is going to solve for x and y. So it gives me that. So I know that the vector n... Um, oh, by the way, you wouldn't be able to define even this if you didn't have a cast. Um, but I do. So I'm going to use it. Okay, so uh, that now I'm going to store as n. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm storing backwards. So equal colon actually will do that, but uh, you can do control store. I'm going to store that as my value of uh, n now. Okay, so let's confirm that uh, the dot product of n and ab is 0, and the dot product of n and ac is 0, which it is. So uh, going back to the picture that we had, the next thing that we want to do is um, create a, a generic vector that's in the plane. So we're going to use the point x, y, z as our point in the plane. And then um, I'm going to use the point a as the uh, initial point. You can use any of the three points, or really any point in the plane if you knew more than three. But I'm going to use a since I definitely know it. Um, so my generic vector is going to be... Um, let me remember what a was. Okay, so my generic vector is um, x minus 5 comma y plus 2 comma z minus 1. And I need to dot product that vector, which is the current answer, with n. And I know that that's going to equal 0. And that's actually the equation of the plane. You can clean it up by uh, multiplying through by 13. And then I guess divided by 2 um, to get this. 
so that's the equation of the plane. Um, and that's how I would go about solving this. Uh, since I do have a cast, what I would actually have done is this. Menu 3, 1, dot product, A, B, comma, uh oh. Well, I redefined N, right? So uh, A, B, comma, X, Y, 2 equals 0 and dot product of uh, A, C and X, comma, Y, comma, 2 equals 0 comma x. And it gives me the values. Um, what's important to realize, though, is uh, it doesn't really matter what value we choose here for our third value. Um, we're just going to get a scalar multiple of uh, the vector that we ended up with. So we ended up with this. Um, we could just as easily have ended up with this or um, negative 7 times that uh, any anything depending on what we chose so if I had chosen 26 I would have gotten 96 and 10 if I had chosen negative 14 I would have gotten these doesn't really matter what I choose um, and the dot products would always have been zero so that's actually how you find the equation of this plane um, later on you're gonna learn something called the cross product which uh, kind of generalizes the process of finding the vector n um, but again for this purpose you don't need it so why kind of clutter what you understand at this point um, so anyway, that's how I would solve this problem, and uh, it's a little bit about how it works. So uh, really all we need is a vector orthogonal to the plane, which we create, and a generic vector in the plane, and then uh, the dot product of those must be zero, and that's how we get our equation. Um, I hope you found this useful, and uh, good luck.